Hello everybody, Future Artist1234 is back and I'm here with another tutorial and this time I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to make a YouTube one channel banner and in the description there's going to be two links, one link for a PSD file and one link for a JPEG, it's both going to be zip but once you open it it's going to be either JPEG or a PSD and the PSD file is a template that works on Photoshop and the JPEG is a template for people that don't have Photoshop and if you don't have Photoshop this is going to be more difficult than it is going to be for the Photoshop users because on my template if you click uh, command semicolon there's going to be guidelines and this is going to be really helpful on your uh, making your uh, banner and if you don't have it um if you don't have I mean, if you don't have a uh, Photoshop, you're gonna have to try your best to stay in the middle of the um, banner and not like try and go over the imaginary guidelines. You can put your own guidelines maybe on there. But um, anyways, once you open up the PSD file, um, there's gonna be a folder called Template, Black BGs, White BGs, and Colored BGs backgrounds. And what you can do is just pick a background you want. You don't have to pick any of these. You can make your own. You can pick your own. These are just for uh, anyone who wants to use the preset backgrounds that I made. And they're just like simple colors. They're not gradient or like they don't have any gradient over it or anything. But anyways, I'm gonna place a cool looking background myself. And let's see, make this bigger to fit in the whole uh, whole screen. And make it this big but anyways guys uh before we get on with the tutorial i just want to explain why what are the guidelines for anything between these four by four rectangles will fit in the mobile version of the um mobile version of youtube so if you put like a text between these it's gonna fit but if it if it's out like it's out of the like over here that's not gonna fit in the mobile version it could fit in the I ipad and tablet versions but it's not gonna fit in the mobile version so for the sake of it being on every single uh, device, just make your banner fit inside this 4x4 rectangles. And it also lets you snap your text or objects, so that's going to be pretty helpful. But anyways, uh, let's start off with the um, text now, because we got a good looking background. I mean, this looks fine. Let me just maybe put it down a little bit. Oh, and anything, this whole thing is for TV. Like, if... You if you put something over here and here and here and here, all that is going to be shown on the TV version. Like, but it's not going to be shown in the TV, uh, computer version. The computer version is only going to have this, these four straight lines shown. But it depends on what size your uh, computer is, I think, or browser you're using for it to know how, what the um, width of the uh, how what part of the width of the um, banner is going to be shown. Like, how much of the width is going to be shown. I know it's kind of hard to explain, but so that's why we're going to just go only do that. But anyways, let me just move this around. Maybe this is fine. It looks fine. Uh, I'm going to get my text and get a good font. Getting a good font is pretty, it's always a good thing to do. Uh, let's see, maybe square font. We started with that. We can start it with that. And maybe crank up the, um, crank up the size of the text so it fits into, um, the guidelines pretty good. I'm going to make this say feature artist and and I picked up perfect size already. Let me put that down a little bit and what I'm going to do is click the arrow thing in my jobber and just fit it in like maybe so right here, right here. That looks fine. And everything you do just put it under the template folder so because uh, if you put something over here and you uh, move something like the sorry, uh, let me try it again. I just accidentally uh, put the text over the template in the template folder. But if you move something like here, it's gonna be over the template folder, and that's not gonna look good. So if you have like uh, this over there, that it looks messed up. So yeah, and the template's not gonna be working now, is it? So I'm just gonna step backward, uh, step backward, step backward, and there we go. But anyways, let's get back to the um, tutorial. A lot of people uh, just put their names, but a lot of people also put like little side text next to their name, like what they do, like gaming tutorials, etc., whatever. Uh, I'm just gonna put, uh, and I'm gonna make this smaller, maybe like 60. Gaming. I'm gonna put another text, tutorials, and then another text, and more. I'm gonna actually, uh, maybe I'm gonna make the font 
72 looks better. 72 looks better. Let's crank up the text of it all. Oops. Alright. I'm gonna put all this 72. 72, and I'm gonna change the color of these. Um, I'm not gonna move them yet, I'm just gonna check out what color looks good for them. And for this one, I'm gonna make it a light blue. For tutorials, I'm gonna make it a little darker blue, but not too dark, like right around here. And for and more, I'm gonna make it a very dark blue. Let's see. It looks way darker. Yeah, right here, it's fine. Uh, here we go. And um, now we're gonna move them around. Actually, let me just change the color of this a little bit more. Alright, now I'm going to move around the texts to make them look okay. What I would do, oh, sorry, um, I forgot to mention, when you start out, just remember to go to view and lock guide so you don't accidentally move the guide like I just did. But anyways, let's get back. What I would do is like, place them like right, like for the left side of this text to be matching the left side of my name of the channel. And that looks, ooh, that looks like they're like, yeah, they look, they look parallel, they look parallel. Alright, let me put tutorials here. I'm gonna make them all, like, uh, par parallel to each other. And let's see. Did, 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 looks fine. Tutorials, I'm gonna make this go over here, because there's too much of a gap over here, so. Maybe put it over here. Let's see how that looks. And it looks bad. Yeah, it looks pretty bad. Maybe it's because the size of the fonts are a little too small. I'm gonna crank it up the font again. But um, yeah, I'm gonna crank up the font maybe like to 92 instead because it's pretty small. And uh, 92, 92. Let's put it all 92. Oh, uh, 792. That was too big. All right, 92. But 92. <laughs> All right, let's try and make them close, like parallel to the text. And anyways, now I'm gonna make the font that says, uh, I mean the word that says my channel name with a good uh, gradient, maybe good looking gradient and maybe a bevel. I'm gonna, what I, how you do that is go over to, um, you click the text and then go over to this effects thingy and then click the blending options and then go to gradient overlay and find a good gradient and mess around with its opacity and what I'm gonna, opacity or opacity, and what I'm gonna do is, uh, let's see, where's a good gradient and your computer may not have as many gradients as this does but I downloaded a gradient pack so it has a bunch of gradients already pre-installed and not pre-installed but already um, in my Photoshop let's see, let me pick a good looking gradient and this looks fine all right, I'm gonna put up the um gradient. You can mess with the angle and whatever, but um to change your gradients, there's gonna be like for you guys, there's gonna be like spectrum, special effects, all these gradient types that you can use. That you can use, but um yeah, I'm gonna maybe put, this looks a little better. Maybe change the angle of it. There we go. That looks fine. And now I'm gonna add a bevel to it, make it a little bit more depth. And if you guys can't tell, there's gonna be a little preview thingy right here. And you can actually see it, the text right there. And its size, I think it's fine right here. And I'm gonna soften it up a bit, not too much. And the shading looks bad, wow. Uh, let's see. It looks fine in the beginning, but you can change the shading over there. Uh, let's see, yeah, this looks fine. Let's see. Yeah, this looks fine, this looks fine. Alright, you can mess around with all of this. Whew, that looks bad. That, 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 what we started with was good, but I had to mess around with it. You can also add a contour, which is gonna, um, I'm not really sure what it does, but I think it, like, changes how the blackness of the text, like, the blackness of the bevel or whatever is. But, um, you can mess around with that, the range of it. Mess around with that, too. I think this looks the best. Uh, no, right here maybe looks the best. Let me check. You pick whatever suits you best, whatever you guys like the best. But um, I'm gonna pick this one because this looks the best for me. But anyways, that looks that looks pretty good. And now, what you're thinking is, wow, I gotta go all through all of that through every single text, dang. But um, you actually don't. You can just uh, if you like the way this text is and want to copy it onto these other texts too. All you gotta do is right like right click on the text and click copy layer style and just paste layer style on the others. Just right click, paste layer style, right click. 
paste layer style. And if you don't want them to keep the gradient overlay that this one has, you could just uncheck that, the little eye, and it'll make them keep the green the color they had before. And I'm gonna change the color of this because it looks pretty bad right now. Uh, let's see. Yeah, this looks fine. Okay. Now what you guys uh, this looks pretty good actually. It looks like you're all you're done, but if you're like me, there's always this little uh, extraness you have to add. So what I'm gonna do is maybe add in a little pattern. Maybe hmm. Maybe add in a little bit of color, which you can like maybe make the feature artist stand out a little bit more from the text. And now what I'm gonna do is make a new layer. And what you do is just click this little over here and get a brush and. I'm gonna pick a brush with a really like psh, make the hardness go to maybe like 0% to 10% and what I'm gonna do is just get a color like blue and just put it over feature artist like that just random spots whichever way you like it and then just maybe put down the opacity of it maybe put down a little bit more over here too you don't actually have to do this, but it just makes the text stand out a little bit more if you have like a little background going on. Actually, this looks pretty bad. I'm gonna start over. I'm gonna put like multiple colors. It's gonna look pretty cool. A little colorful, colorful, be colorful. And do that. Just add a bit of color. And let's see. Hmm. I'm gonna put down the opacity of it. Opacity of it after I'm done with this. And I'm just gonna make it look pretty colorful. Doing all this. And I think that's enough. I'm just gonna add one more color to it. And what I'm gonna do is put that under the text so it's not over the text. It looks a little better like this. And maybe put down the opacity a bit. Maybe blur this. Maybe blur it a little bit. I'm gonna add a little. How you do blurs and uh. If you want to put a blur or a filter, you just got to go over here to filter and pick whatever you want. I'm just going to blur it to uh, maybe Gaussian blur. Put a little bit of uh, Gaussian blur. And yeah, this looks fine. It barely did anything, but yeah. Alright guys, now it looks pretty good. It looks like you're finished, but if you want to add a little bit more to it, you can maybe mess around, put some more brushes, maybe make more layers. And uh, maybe add in, if you have any brush presets or whatever, download, you can maybe add in some brush to make pretty good looking patterns. You can do whatever you want. Do whatever looks good. And what I'm going to do is maybe put a little stripes around the text. I'm going to make the size get a little bigger. And what I'm going to do is just add this little stripe looking thing I'm a jobber. These stripes. Uh, let's see, maybe use this one instead. But, um... Do whatever looks good. I'm gonna actually make it look like this. No, that looks bad because it's all pixelated. No, looks horrible. All right, I'm gonna maybe get this one and use it instead. Yeah, that looks pretty nice. You can actually duplicate it and it duplicate it. Use the arrow tool, free transform, and go to the width. You put minus and make it look like this. And so you could put it on this other side too to mirror it. Looks pretty nice. This looks pretty good right about now and uh, let me just turn off the template hmm because this is pretty distracting but in many ways um now what I'm gonna do is add a little glitchiness maybe like I usually do with my uh, text and actually re stop recording and uh, rasterize the type to do that and how you do how you put a glitchy effect is just right click and rasterize type and then you could do a glitchy effect on a text and what I'm gonna do is just a little Get a little bit of the text with my uh, rectangle tool or maybe use the lasso and then once you click and drag and get a piece that you want to glitch out like I mean move out of place you can just click the arrow tool and with your arrow keys you can move it out of place and that looks pretty cool right there but I think that's a little bit too much and since this have a, this has a uh, bevel on it it's not gonna look that good but I'm gonna put a little bit maybe move it a little bit or maybe even uh make that a separate uh layer view cut make that a separate layer and that, that looks better but I'm gonna add a little blur to it blur okay, let's see what it looks good Maybe lens blur let's see how that looks oops sorry not lens blur not lens blur I'm gonna use Gaussian blur maybe let's see how that looks 
No, that doesn't look better. That does not look good at all. I'm gonna use field blur maybe. This might look better. And and no, that doesn't look better either. I'm gonna use motion blur instead. And I'm just gonna maybe move it around a little bit to like yeah, that looks that looks okay. That looks a little glitchy. But um, let's put a little bit more glitch effects on it. And I'm just gonna pick a random area and just move it out of place with my arrow keys. And if you want, you can add some more effects to it by uh, right clicking on it, layer via cut. And what that does, it does also bevels that out too. And uh, you can put effects to just that specific area if you want. But um. What I'm gonna do is just glitch a little bit more, make it a little bit more like not glitchy, but like move out of place some more areas. And uh, I think this looks a little bit, this looks good, but I think it looked better before. But depends on what you guys like. But um, yeah, guys, we're basically done here. All right, I forgot to mention. Once you're done with your banner, you can save it by going over to File and then Save As, and then you can put the name you want and then go to Format and change it to JPEG. Or yeah, JPEG or PNG. JPEG's probably good. And once you click JPEG, you're gonna click save, and it's gonna ask you what quality. Make sure it's under two megabytes. So 1.8 M is good. That's good. That's good. It works. But anyways, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. And if you have, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'm gonna put up more tutorials on way better ways to make a glitchy effect like I did here and here and way more tutorials just give me suggestions leave likes leave comments and if this gets like let's see 20 likes I'm gonna put out another uh, After Effects I mean I said After Effects I'm gonna put out another Photoshop tutorial uh, maybe Saturday but if it doesn't get 20 likes by then I'm gonna put it out probably next Monday or maybe even another date I don't know whenever I have free time I'll do it but um anyways guys just leave suggestions on what you guys like to learn and hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial for beginners on how to make a YouTube banner but um anyways yeah guys see ya